A somber occasion. Tonight marks two years since the St. Johns County father of four was ambushed and murdered in Jacksonville Beach. Now, newly released evidence from investigators indicates the crime was not only planned, it was rehearsed. 33-year-old Jared Bridegan had just dropped off his older twins at his ex-wife Shanna Gardner's house and had his two-year-old daughter riding with him in the back seat. Gardner and her estranged husband, Mario Fernandez, faced a Jacksonville judge again today as they await trial on first-degree murder charges. Their lawyers argued various motions seeking to dismiss the state attorney's office from the case, release Gardner on bond, and separate the two cases. A third person, Henry Tenen, has already pleaded guilty to doing the shooting. We've also learned this week two other people are believed to have played a role in what police say was a murder plot but those accused co-conspirators have not been publicly named. News for Jack's reporter Vic Michalucci has been going through hundreds of pages of just released evidence, including GPS records. Two years ago today, a father of four was ripped away from his family after visiting his older children, a Wednesday night routine in the midst of a bitter custody battle, shot in the street in front of his toddler, after stopping for a tire in the road. Good morning, Honor Patrick Brady for Ms. Gardner, who's president. Today, Jared Bridegan's widow and loved ones were back in court, feet away from his ex-wife, Shanna Gardner, and her estranged husband, Mario Fernandez, both charged with an elaborate plot to kill him. Bridegan's family silent on this somber milestone, but a stack of newly released documents from the state attorney's office makes it loud and clear. The hit was calculated. GPS evidence shows in the month before the murder, admitted trigger man Henry Tenen twice drove the murder route, leaving his home on the west side, heading to Jacksonville Beach turn by turn, where Bridegan would go on his way back to St. John's County, where he lived. Fernandez had been with Tenen, who rented a room from him. Earlier, prosecutors labeled it a practice run of the homicide route. The night of the murder, cell phone tracking matches with surveillance videos across Jacksonville Beach. It shows Tenen along the route in his dark blue F-150, which police later found, along with a duplicate of the spare tire that set up the shooting. What does that do for the case? It shows a timeline, and it shows exactly where somebody is, how long they were there, where they went. News for Jack's crime and safety analyst Tom Hackney was a former homicide supervisor who says GPS data coupled with the physical evidence and payments between Fernandez and Tenen tell a lot. What we don't see is much of a trail leading to the ex-wife, whom prosecutors believe started plotting the murder nine years ago. Shanna Gardner. It's going to prove interesting to find out what the evidence that they're going to present against her. There's also heavily redacted reports showing detectives are linking two more people to the plot. A former police reserve officer who may have provided the murder weapon and a man who lived in Fernandez's rental with Tenen. Neither has been charged. Could they still be charged? Oh, absolutely. Another document involving conversations detectives pulled from a wiretap shows Gardner hired not only a lawyer after the murder, but a public relations firm in Utah where her family runs a multi-million dollar business. The group and Gardner discuss Gardner taking a vacation and checking into a hotel under a fake name. The warrant also says a relative of Bridegan told investigators that Gardner had commented about hiring a hitman to take Bridegan out back in 2017. The relative noted Gardner hated Bridegan and was frustrated by their custody arrangement and their differences in parenting choices. Gardner and Fernandez have pleaded not guilty. Their attorneys say the details will come out in court. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station. Vic, thank you.